Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god, long time no bloody see. It has been a month since I've uploaded and that is so poor of me. I'm so sorry. Literally, my excuse is that I've been so busy recently planning for our trip. I've not even announced it on this channel, but like I feel like most of you guys follow Grace and Grace. Me and Grace are going on our first gap year destination. I've been quite stressed out about that because I've just had loads and loads and loads to plan. Today, I'm going to be doing a haul of stuff I've bought for the gap year trip. But number one, we're not telling you guys where we're going yet. We're actually going to wait till we're in the location. And also, yes, I am ill. You can probably hear it in my voice. I've been ill for about a week now. But I'm like, I've been wanting to film this video for a while, so I was like, Do you know what, I'm just going to bloody film it. This video is going to be all the secondhand stuff I bought for our trip, all the vintage things. I don't know, like, all the, like, the secondhand, all the secondhand shit. I'm just going to bring a whole loo roll with me. So, my favourite place ever in the whole world to go to for secondhand stuff is Brick Lane. And there is an underground vintage store, and bitch, that is probably, like, my favourite store in the UK. Let's start with a banger. This is probably my favourite thing I've bought for the whole trip and it is a fur pink fur coat. Yeah, this is definitely my favourite thing I've bought for this trip. This is what it looks like. It is just beautiful and if you guys look closely, it's got all these white bits coming off of it which I think are just so cool and it makes like the movement of the coat so much better. I don't know, it's just such a beautiful coat with all these little white strings coming off of it it's originally from the brand portobello pink i don't know i just love it like as soon as i saw this i just knew it had to come with me to, to the location i nearly said the name and it was so reasonably priced a lot of the stores at this underground vintage market really rank up the prices but this was only 35 quid which is so good for like a proper proper vintage coat i don't know i just love it so so much and this is probably my favorite thing i've bought for this trip the second item again is from the underground vintage store but it's like a, in the underground one they have like there's like 20 different stores under there so this is from a different store this was 55 pounds so it's a little bit more but this again is just such a show-stopping item so the straps are bedazzled this is lovely blue satin and then if you guys know me you know i love a bow i just think they're so cool like i've got so many bowed items um so this is the bottom it's got this gigantic blue satin bow and then a slit and the slit has diamonds in it are you joking like when i saw this i was like what i just think it's beautiful and it fit like a glove as well so i was really happy you're coming home with me. The majority of my stuff is from one store. So I'm going to do a couple other bits that aren't from that store. I actually bought a pair of secondhand glasses. I got these glasses from a store in Chelsea, I think. It's like a secondhand designer store near like Peggy Porsche's way, like a bit further up. So um, I really wanted like a pair of really beautiful sunglasses for my trip. I don't own any like designer glasses. I always get my glasses from Pretty Little Thing, ASOS, or even Primark because usually I snap them. Like I'm just really clumsy with glasses. I don't treat them well. But these, these are gonna be different. Grace actually has a pair of Chanel sunglasses and I steal them all the time. Whenever she has them, I'm like, yeah, come on with me. And I just like steal them for my own pictures. So I want to get my own pair. Um, these are actually why I sell. They came in the most beautiful leather wire cell case, but it's upstairs, it's like huge. So I said I'm using my little ASOS case. I thought I'm going to be able to see it. But they say, in Saint Laurent, on the side in gold. I just love, I've never found a pair of glasses that I love as much as these. Like, I don't know, I just, they're so sophisticated. And like, I just love the shape of them as well. So like, this is them like properly on my face. I don't know. I just think they're so sophisticated. I'm obsessed with the shape. I just think they're so, like, cool. They really remind me of, like, um, Victoria Beckham, kind of. I actually can't remember how much they were. I think they were around... 100 quid? Okay, so the next thing I bought is actually from Brighton. It was from a charity shop in Brighton. 
it is this like white corset very early 2000s and then it has all diamonds on it more well, obviously like plastic crystals but you know what i mean no i just loved it like and then it fits so that it kind of like goes quite low it's from the brand jane norman i just thought this would be really cool for a night out with a big blazer and then like some white leather trousers like how sick is that all the other stuff i'm going to show you guys is all from the same brand called either like blue 17 vintage or blue vintage but i'll put it here because i always forget i've never found this brand before um i literally just stumbled across it when i was searching for like vintage pieces online and it is so well priced i mean I have bought so many blazers and all of my blazers were 20 quid or under and they're like from the 90s as well there's one from the 80s as well which is just so cool the only thing I will say like I bought a pink 90s blazer I was so excited for it, it was this kind of pink they didn't send it to me and because there was like an error like they let me buy it but they didn't have it so that, that is the only like bad bit of like bad experience I had I guess with the website so I just thought I'd warn you guys in case you guys want to order from there. I bought a lot of blazers because I don't own any. I don't own a single blazer. All the blazers you guys see me wear are from my dad. I just wear his blazers. The first one I bought is this one I think was from the 80s. And it's really cool. It's got like this like chain on it. Anyway. So this is what it looks like. It is purple and green no it's purple and grey tartan it's got these big shoulder pads it's cropped and then it's got a very much like exaggerated collar like it goes out all the way to like here i don't know i just thought this was a really cool blazer i love the shape of it and all of these blazers were a size eight on the website so they all fit me like a glove i just really love this blazer and it's also like kind of woolly so i know it's going to keep me warm i just love it there's just nothing i don't like about this blazer to be honest Okay, the next one I got is very different. It's not like your average blazer. This, I think it was called like a dinner jacket. So that's what I'm actually going to wear it for. Like when we go out for dinner on top of dresses. I think this will just look spectacular. So the bodice is velvet. And then the sleeves are like kind of like mesh. Here's the bodice. It is. It's like crushed velvet. Super, super cute. All buttons. And then the sleeves are this mesh like see-through mesh and look at the hands i don't know i'm just in love with it like this was an item that online i was like am i gonna hate this or love it when it arrives and i love it then i bought just like a classic black and white kind of tweedy looking jacket as it's just like a classic black and white tweed it looks like a zara jacket but i love that it's not i love that it's like actual from the 90s and that's so much more cool and it has like all these kind of frayed edges on it has like some nice big buttons again this one fits me so nicely this probably fits me the best out of all of them actually we have one more this one i absolutely love it kind of reminds me a bit of like share i'm editing out all my coffee for you guys but this haul is actually hard for me to get through it is this like yellow toned brown tartan jacket and i love this so much it's like all pipe with this brown and then on these sleeves it has the like tan elbow patches i don't know i think this is so beautiful i don't know this is like i'm so excited to wear this to be honest i think it's just stunning got some dresses that are quite crazy actually this is the first one it's just this green dress um the reason i bought this is because it has bows on it again i love bows and it has like this frilled waist and i don't know super cute super vintage i don't know that is a great thing about shopping vintage you get some real unique pieces that you just would not get first hand okay then i bought this top in this like stunning yellow color so it kind of like sits like that um it like it kind of like see how it like folds over like that so it just sits so beautifully it's just like this yellow silk and then it goes in at the waist one more item okay so this is like this kind of flower abstract dress so this is the front it's long sleeve it goes in at the waist and then it kind of like 
goes out a little bit and then the back of it is just stunning because it is all buttoned at the back with these like dark blue buttons I don't know, some people will absolutely hate this dress. Be like, Grace, what were you thinking? But I love, it's a 10 out of 10 from me. And I'm the one that has to wear it. So, I love it. So yeah, guys, that is everything in this video. Please let me know what your favourite item was. And if you guys are excited for me and Grace to go on our little gap year adventure. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hope you'll be well, more well then. Because right now, I'm so